Right now, with the popular trends of drugs like Ozempic and Wegovy, we are seeing many side effects these drugs can have, both positive and the negative side effects as yeah. well. But could these weight loss drugs hold the key to fighting addiction? Rekha Mutaraj takes a closer look. Normally, I would have probably four big bags of Fritos, and we'd have like multiple different types of dips. I'd be coming in here and I'd be grabbing whatever. Semaglutide has helped Robert Stallnaker stay out of the pantry. I mean, it's like I said, it's not what it used to be. It's normally this was completely full down here. Have a couple of bottles of Crown, some some tequilas. And it's also why his liquor cabinet is pretty much empty. Stallnaker has lost 60 pounds since starting on the weight loss drug one year ago. But he was also surprised to lose his appetite for alcohol. Well, I like Crown and Coke, and I normally get a double. Uh, when I would get a Crown and Coke, I'd probably have four or five of them some nights. Some users, they may feel like if they're addicted or have some compulsive behaviors of alcohol or smoking or even like cravings for sweet things, they have noticed that it comes down a little bit. Dr. Chinyere Opalake, or Dr. Chi, is a family physician who has many patients on prescription drugs like Ozempic and Wigovi, which both contain the active ingredient semaglutide. She says in addition to weight loss, patients are seeing addictive behaviors like smoking, gambling, and even nail biting have lessened. On websites like Reddit, some people claim they no longer have the urge to compulsively shop while taking these weight loss drugs. There are no major studies in the works right now, and most reports are anecdotal. But doctors are hopeful these drugs may unlock new findings about addictive behavior. Essentially, that happens. You, you market something, you market a drug for a particular disorder or disease, and by default, something else happens. So it's not surprising. While this class of medications may make a difference in quieting other desires, aside from food noise, Dr. Chi doesn't expect them to be used to treat addiction directly. But I don't see us saying take Ozempic to fight drug addicts, but I will say it could help as a supplement. So if you do have diabetes or you do have weight loss issues and you're taking this medication, you can advise a patient, hey, you may notice that this compulsive behavior might improve as well. The unexpected side effect has not only affected Stallnaker's waistline, it's changed his social habits as well. I actually make decisions now on what we're doing when we're going out on who we're going to be with, how much drink is going to be going on, and whether or not I want to be a part of that. Scientists out of the University of Gothenburg in Sweden have published nearly a dozen studies showing how GLP-1 drugs like Ozempic are significantly reducing or stopping binge drinking and overall alcohol consumption. But the study involves rats and mice. Large scale randomized controlled trials in humans will be the next step, but are likely years away from happening. I'm Reka Mutaraj with KHOU 11 News.